after their name has been besmirched, after they've been maligned, you can sometime later on write some affidavit, maybe a month, two months from now, and we'll consider it. Despite impassioned arguments from Michael Critchley and other high-profile attorneys, the argument that the governor's EDA task force was doing reputational harm to South Jersey power broker George Norcross and the companies with which he's affiliated was rejected in court yesterday. Within minutes of the ruling, the report Norcross and company wanted to stop was in inboxes across the state, and the result will likely be more reputational harm. Special interests, which prioritize benefits to private parties rather than the state, had a significant impact on statutes and regulations, says the report. Perhaps most damning, this email from an executive at Camden-based Cooper University Hospital, where George Norcross is chairman, to a real estate broker allegedly asking for a sham inquiry. As part of our EDA application, we need a term sheet for a potential location outside of New Jersey. I need a credible location, says the email. Can you get me a term sheet for 120,000 square feet quietly? No probability of us moving to Center Square, so I don't want to make too much noise. Moving employees out of the state was a threat the company used to secure some $40 million in tax breaks. The EDA spends hundreds of millions of dollars of the people's money, and the people of New Jersey have a right to know whether that program has been administered in a fair fashion. Not right now, just one second. Attorneys for Norcross and other plaintiffs in the case did not stop to talk to us after the judge rejected their quest for an injunction against the report. But the whole premise of their case is that the governor, through the task force, is attacking their clients and, by extension, the city of Camden. Not so, says the task force chairman. In these types of transactions, it is impossible in investigating the EDA not to make reference and to look at the transactions of these applicants who got millions and millions of dollars worth of tax credits and tax incentives. It's possible that some of those tax incentive awards could be coming back, as much as half a billion dollars, according to the report. Murphy said today the fight over the EDA tax incentive programs was not over. This system cannot be allowed to continue for one day past June 30th. To do so would be to ignore both the facts presented by the task force and the facts presented by the communities left struggling in the shadows of the buildings this system built. Without the governor's okay, the tax incentives would sunset, leaving the state with no program. And the impact of that on New Jersey's business climate is anyone's guess. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz. Thank you.